Hello there, this is Izix with another episode of Crusader Kings 2 After the End mod. Where we are Lord Admiral Jalad the Just of the Red Go Dominion. And we are currently fighting in a, a little brush war in the prairie against the Crow Creek County. As panic is spreading in Medan among the cow folks, there's reports and eerie sounds of the villages and livestock spearing. Pets are fearful of Wendigo hiding in the region. Killing livestock, eating human flesh. Hmm. Well, nobody lives there. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> it's kind of a useless territory. Uh, the sort of the spirits is used for the title. Of, uh, neat. You're no longer in charge of things, aren't you? Uh, yes. Getting some other stuff here. Excellent. Our country, our empire grows. It's uh, perpetuating itself forever. <laughs> Terror based. Hmm. Builders in Mendan are requested your aid in dealing with the beast terrorizing the countryside. All zero villagers. Uh, they claim the creature is a age of the dark spirits sent to destroy them. So the elders have brought evidence of the beast for you to examine, hoping to convince you the situation is dire. Hmm, this might not be the work of a beast. Yeah. <laughs> might be some sort of psycho killer, like we used to have back in the day <laughs> in New Hampshire, but we've, we've always just figured out that there are crazy people in the woods sometimes. But we're, we're going to work on this. Uh, following the directions of the local farmer, you drag the beast to a lair. The leaves nearby splat drops of blood, bleached white bones, and other detritus litter the ground. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is like the son of that guy. Uh, it's a man, baby. The formed man, looking at the objects surrounding the lair, you realize the beast is actually just a man. When he emerges, your men stay in his, his, their arms. He is huge and strong with deformities that might explain the rumors of a monster. You see a spark of intelligence in his eyes, but also a great deal of sadness. Hmm. So we could get Samson, or we can kill him, I guess. Hmm. Uh, let's pick up a giant crazy person who eats people. Uh, let's actually, uh, oh, look at this guy here. Uh, where, where would he be here? So Solomon, let's, let's start up my name. No, I could do the whole search thing, but, ah, oh, there's Samson. Yes, he is ugly, he is a hunchback, he is strong, and he's content, but lustful. And kind, and humble, and brave, and he still kills people. Owns everywhere, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm just misunderstanding him. Uh, <laughs> Terrors of the night. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like somebody wants to come play. Because we've taken Blunt. <laughs> My governors are turning against me. Cheyenne River, you say. Well, if I were to destroy your army, well, some of your courtiers seem a bit irritated that you invited an uncouth lowborn to your court. He may be useful, but he's causing a bit of friction. I know just what to say. Hmm, or I could piss people off, or I could just banish him. Hmm. I haven't gotten that one, that event before. <laughs> anyway, going forward, bring them all. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Your conquests would be. Silly and pointless, my friend. You wish to expand your domain? Well, I wish to end yours. Hope you're cool with that. Yeah, go ahead and fight the, those guys. I don't care. Ooh ah. Hmm. Ooh ah. Do it now. Ooh, got some liberation over there. You gotta keep them liberated. Bam, bam. <laughs> hmm. So I was inherited. Very good, very good. The question is, do I want to try to rush this? Hmm. A group of craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with with fine goods, of which you are sure there will be demand for in the realm. Hmm, like Legos. Uh, noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start your workshop, saying they lack the funds to do it on their own. Hmm, it's a sound investment. My stewardship tells me these things. Uh, Lemuel of Westsylvania is at the county of Yagahania from Giles Sharpburg. Neat. <laughs> Westsylvania. 
Hmm. Well, if uh, you guys split up our jets, you're still working on that. Cool. <laughs> Hmm. Well, our truce with the Confederates is up this year. I think, I think it's time to liberate Washington. I still need a pot of money. Hmm. Hopefully this investment scheme will work out for the best. And I'll get that 700 gold I need. <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. Ah. Uh. You know, this guy has a fair bit of money. Maybe I should start doing, uh, what is this here? Truce expiring, yes, of course. See if I can, uh, get a little something something off of him here. Make way, Dodge Dodge, give you some money. For your lady. Your lady friend. Hmm. You there. Foreman Dixon. Foreman Dixon. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> so I'm definitely sieging a lot faster than he does. A whole lot faster. This next one's going to be a little bit longer to deal with here, just because there's more men that have to uh, sort of wait out. But you know, you know. The majority of the population of Taro has been... Is that one of the places you're working on? I forget. Oh, you're still... Uh, PD, PD attrition it up. Hmm. Oh, I guess. Uh, when do we get get? Uh, what don't you call it? To uh, Carolina back? I don't know. Well, let's go talk to somebody here. Somebody freaking agent, perhaps. You there? Go do things. Would well, yes. Actually, maybe someone is a little younger. Not that guy. <laughs> Uh, you seem sufficiently annoying, but uh, we want someone who's maybe going to bring the people together. Hmm, like this guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> he's content, so he's probably not going to be trying to destroy my realm, but I, I maybe want someone else. Someone else. Like, maybe this fella. This fine fella. Here, he kind of likes me, so let's give him a nice royalty ship. Uh, let's give him Carolina. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> so now we got full control over this. Full control over that. I think, right? Yeah. Just need to get full control over that. Ah. Uh, still only one of my commanders then. Hmm. There's the combat. All defense. Damage. Yeah, you seem decent. Samson, you're now in charge of one of some of our troops. Lead them to victory. Crush their skulls. You crazy person. Hmm. So that you have a triangle. Very nice, very nice. Do that. <laughs> Become more powerful if you wish. Canning. Can it. Hmm. At point one. Five. 12 days. 12 days. Nah, let's go kill this guy first. And then we'll come back. Hooray! Hopefully this will be a success. If not, we may be in trouble. Deep, deep trouble. Yes. Yes. Trouble it up. Or something, right? <laughs> Crush them! It is your destiny. Hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have made sure I had the extra general there. Oh, that's probably one of my, my siege general that did things. So as a child, a little rascal, he just gives his due toys to the Smith's son. Mm, well, charitable is actually a pretty good thing. Gives you an extra dupe diplomacy here. Greedy's also good. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, let's make sure we get something here, though. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Crush them! Yeah, superfluous troops are like nothing to me. Very nice. And we are victorious. Hooray! Excellent. Ooh, ah. Now, I'm just going to go and keep the top, top level title here for the moment. But we are going to give some of this away to folks. Like Samson, you're now going to become a, a, 
not a lowborn anymore. You're going to get... You're going to get a, a barony, I think. Canning. Can it. Actually, I'll give you the fort. There you go. That's for you. Who's up next? Do -do -do. Deceitful, crazy person. Yeah, you're going to get something. <laughs> you're going to get the city of Blunt. I'll be Blunt. And Seaborn. Seaborn bots. Very nice can. There we go. And now we're good to go. So that's time to send our lovely, lovely troop people all the way over here, let's see, to Northern Virginia. So let's just sort of wait a little bit. We're going to maybe calm down our recruitment of new dudes here. Yeah. Let's turn that off entirely. Because what's the point, really? What's the point? Because <laughs> they're just going to be attritioning themselves and should be wasting my money. Now, so give me an opportunity to raise some funds for our great, glorious conquests of Washington. There we go. That's all we need, guys. That's all we need is plus a bunch of money. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I've certainly been enjoying it. I very much had to sort of hold my back, uh, myself back from uh, time to time uh, to uh, prevent uh, uh, myself from going a little overboard on a... Uh, uh, I'm recording like 12 episodes like over the course of a whole day and it's like wait I can't really respond to comments and such just a little silly on me so uh, I was like yes yes let's uh, sort of take it easy occasionally here <laughs> mm -hmm. occasionally but other times I'll go crazy and everyone will be like what what <laughs> what's going on here what's really going on here man tell me tell me Auto saving, that's what it's doing. Hmm, not Sonia, Ontario. The bequeathment, another dead person. <laughs> another random dead person giving me something. Uh, ooh, maybe we had a special relationship. Hmm. The Lady Quinn's Guiles bequeathed a pre-calamity brass telescope to you. However, it hasn't been damaged or lost the confusion of the of his passing. I wish I'm sure that I retained the possession of it. Oh wait, I did. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Farseer. Yes. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Marshall plus one, learning plus two. I'm pretty awesome, apparently. <laughs> Due to all my toys. Hmm. And hopefully my son will be able to take care of them as well. Oh, maybe I should be working on his intrigue. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we got some sort of um, unrest here. Some sort of revolt. What is this about here? A lower crown authority. That's lame. You should be revolting and becoming independent and such so I can eat you in smaller chunks, see? County conquesting it up and such. Hmm. Guess while I just sort of wait for my army to come back. Because really, this is quite the uh, the trek here. Where, where are they now? Where have they gone, folks? They up there now. Uh, let's get the plot to where... To, See, Prince Pride of the Redcoat Dominion, dead. Or, or princess. You there. Stop it. <laughs> Pride's not a threat to you. Come on. Actually, maybe I should be uh, working on some Game of Thrones stuff with you. Yes, yes. How about, well, what's your inheritance laws here? Gravel kind? Ooh. Well, let's maybe uh, see about arranging a marriage between you and apparently no one. Drat! <laughs> How about you? Drat! <laughs> I guess there's just nobody. Nobody can marry to us. Maybe I can talk to your guy here. Um, do, do, do. Well, arrange marriage. So, perhaps like my half-brother, just sort of as a thing. Uh, this doesn't seem at all useful. You always come to me, you guys are always coming to me to like, I want to marry your sister or something like that. I'm like, what? Hmm. That's not cool. I'll be able to find it to give me. Cool. Sure. What are you trying to do anyway? Uh, County of Jersey, sure. Well, I guess I could just 
give it to you. <laughs> how about that? Transfer of Aslich, how about that? Uh, do, 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 Jersey Shore. Have fun. <laughs> Sure about you independent anyway. Hmm. Sure I lost a commander, but uh Yeah, I can always get new commanders. Like maybe not you. So you got some other good stuff going on here. Rado troops. Just make sure you're not leading the uh, guys that are barely armed. The president Doris. I don't think so. Better rot. Neat. <laughs> I'd like to see the Anabaptist destroyed as well, but that's eh, kind of superfluous at this point. Hmm, Madeline Idols. Madeline. What you got about, guy? You're in charge of this here and this, and that's pretty much everything you got. You only got very level vassals. So I'm very tempted to raise up a ton of troops. Just go knock you over. Who are you find? Where it's more to make Ireland a tribute. Well, I don't know about that. Hmm. This is independent. Oh, you're not independent. Who are you? What do you want? You're this guy. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. At <laughs> least from Jacob Lombard's dungeon. Neat. We got you here. Coach Nord, the old occultist, the, the Dark Kingdom, as it were. Hmm. Praising my wisdom, allow him entry. Very good, very good. I like having my wisdom praised. I gotta praise you like I should. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, bum, bum, ba, da, do. You are presently much less powerful than you usually are. Hmm. Groot. <laughs> this is House Groot. <laughs> Get yourself together. I'm gonna praise you like a should. You're just sort of hanging out here then. You're not doing anything actually important, right? Hmm. I got the feel for conquest. I got the urge. Hmm. Uncontrollable urge. Hmm. Got so poke west over here. After the auto saves down, of course. Hmm. Do do. Bum, 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 bum. Gotta do your baby. We gotta praise you like I should. So, Adin Roxy. Then who? Then who does it go to? What random people? I don't know. So let's start uh, plotting to kill perhaps people here. Yes, maybe even you. Hmm. Yes. Do it! It's been a while since I've done any plotting. <laughs> yes, bring everyone in. What's your uh, plot power here? You there. Hmm. There's another reason to try to marry someone off over there. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess that's maybe one thing I could do, actually. You there! Let's arrange a marriage. Between the rest cultists of some sort, and uh, not Darmok, it's one of these random people, I guess. Um, how about you? Now oh, you're kind of old. You, Gwyneth, and you don't want anyone. You don't have anyone in your country, then, do you? Hmm. That's problematic. Oh well. <laughs> I'll just try to kill them. Uh, give me bizarre and repulsive evidence that Chief Garnet of Plymouth's oh, sexual preferences. I mean, he's into rocks? And typewriters? I don't know about that. <laughs> it's also a lunatic, so maybe he's into all these things. Uh, do -do -do. Hmm. You know what? 
having crazy people around can be kind of useful. <laughs> Plus, he loves me. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, practices. Not <laughs> using the stop meddling political factualism. You will learn to regret this. Sitting on the end of the economy. Adopt his ideas. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Knowledge of heavy infantry has spread. <laughs> Boston's a light unto the world. As far as technological progress goes, it's actually uh, some of the map boats here. Cause it is bleeding out of it like crazy on some of this stuff here. <laughs> sure, there's this stuff over here, but uh, you know, it's got improved keeps and castles and infrastructure, which is spreading all the way up and down the, the northeast. We lost some military organization, which is pretty strong all the way up and down here. And siege equipment. Oh, yes. Love, my, love me some siege equipment. Yes. Don't really need much in the way of ships and all that at the moment, so... I've been kind of ignoring it. I think my maritime folks deal with it. Using those uh, brethren-based uh, shipyards and such do the do the, the real work. And you there. You got 19,000 troops. 19,000 scary guys. There's a solution of that law. I'm so tempted to go crush your face guy got 2,000 guys I could raise up almost double that hmm very tempting very tempting so Akron as we wait for these guys to get over there we're going to colony conquest you hope that's okay right you are only in charge of this right yeah conquest of Akron because why not maybe be smart to do it over here <laughs> Oh, I keep changing my mind here. Uh, you got some vassals in other places. Copperland. So you'd be a little more annoying. You are presently embroiled in crazy stuff here. And you guys, you guys, which began to revolt. Uh, league Independence War. It's not a very strong league there. Probably not going to go anywhere. So, Akron, you are here. Could be holding off a little bit longer for our southern victory lap, but uh, let's see about standing at odds. I declare war. Boink, and boink, and boink. <laughs> hey, more bequeathments. Everyone's dying here. Look at these guys over here. Uh, David bequeathed a pre calamity mechanical calculator. I'm going to have like, pretty much everything here. I already have a calculator. Hmm. So I get two? <laughs> uh, okay. Where are you going? Uh, going to Mahoming? Well, that's fine. You can go there too. <laughs> the 13th of April. Now we're not going there. We're just going to keep you distracted until we move in and destroy you. Black Swamp. April 20th, you say. Hmm, I didn't stand fear before? Oh no, I'm no longer brave. That actually kind of sucks. Who's there? You don't want to go there. You don't want to go anywhere. Good, good. Ah! Concubine is pregnant. Half more babies! This guy takes a while there. Alright, everyone who's not running around somewhere else, come together, let's go crash some faces. Uh, Cuthbert, let's put Samson in charge of something here, because why not? Solomon and Sa Samson and Cuthbert. <laughs> Go raise Akron. And Holy Wolf and Golden Horseshoe and King Matthew of Ontario. Neat. What you all about here? So you're fighting this guy of Golden Horseshoe? What, or, is he really that weak right now? I guess he is. <laughs> Weird. Glock. <laughs> Keep doing things. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Crush them. Our morale could be better, but, uh, you know, could be worse as well. <laughs> Got some random guys here. That's, there we go. Destroy them. Tannis Torres, the Red Good Man, is now legal age. He's becoming a flamboyant schemer. 
That wasn't what I intended, but okay. <laughs> Let's see about getting you hitched. Let's go by rank at this point. Isn't it Regent, heir to the city of Natalia? Is that my wife? No. <laughs> That'd be awkward. Alright, then how about you? Uh, can I interest you in a, uh, a an emperor's son? Hmm, courtier? Nah. So, if that, we can't do that. Nothing interesting going on there. Hmm. So, let's go by... Is there any geniuses in the house? There is. Neat. You, lady. So, our program mess land here. Uh, you're going to help make beautiful, smart babies with my, my son here. Hope that's cool. Uh, relative of the chief. I don't even know where that guy is. Uh, so, yes. Yes. Who are you? Really? Some guy up here. <laughs> Which, because we have country lands over there now, means we can go talk to them. Alright, so if Horace is nowhere to be seen, you can always find him in the courtyard. <laughs> Horace is now... This is a little weird. It's a uh, proud or diligent. Both of these are pretty good. Diligent's better, but... Uh, <laughs> but uh, Craven is terrible. Turn Horace into a great knight. He's gained a brave trait. <laughs> Where I had it not, he now has it. <laughs> I'm a little concerned what was going on with that event, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Hmm. Horace. Hmm. hmm. I accept your suggestion that Tennis Horace and Margareta get married. You're now married. Have beautiful genius kids now, please. Uh, excellent. Mito. Now we just gotta seed something up here and we'll find. <laughs> well, the guys are still marching to Northern Virginia. <laughs> ah, the country is huge, you see. Huge and large. Hmm. I've not sent any of my troops even all the way across it, but it'll take them pretty much like a whole year, maybe two. Which is kind of fitting, you know, because you think about, you know, the Oregon Trail, it's like, yes. We've gotten to, to Kansas City. About the halfway point. Maybe not quite. we still got, like, six months to go to get to Oregon. If we hurry. <laughs> Opposed to walking there. With armor and weapons. <laughs> yes. Thank you for destroying them forever. They will never cause us problems again. What are you all about here? You're like fighting them with 11 billion wars at the same time. Neato! <laughs> Probably because those are uh, normal type rebels there. Some sort of uprisings. Uprisings. It's like special horizons, except up! Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Auto save. Everyone's this here. Okay. Uh, Catholic Revolt. Okay. Conquest of Up North. Point of the majority. Susquehanna. Asuwani. Cool, cool. Asuwani no bother. So the majority of the people of Charlevoix has been converted. Very nice. Excellent. Are you doing anything useful here? Make tribute. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily our most useful thing there. <laughs> Court Nord. Hmm. Madeline Isles. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Some sort of revolt. Terriers of Volt War from Malcolm's claim on Ontario. You, are you still fighting your war? Well, yeah, okay, so you're still fighting the Ontarios, but oh, yeah, yes. I was looking at Ontario, I was looking at other people. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We are finally in Northern Virginia. Still fighting the Akron War, though, but that's okay. And let's start plotting our future endeavors here. Confederate Holy War for Chicksaw. Oh no. I don't know if that's the smartest thing you can be doing right now. Sure, you got most of your troops back. In fact, uh, we're only losing a few of them here. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Hired, retinues, and fleets as well. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> you're a little low on money, so your hired might not be hired. Unless they're uh, holy order of some sort. In which case, no fair. 
The shade for Upland fails. Ha <laughs> ha. West Tennessee. Pathetic. We got our great holy war done. Why can't you guys? I mean, really. <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, the bloody. Oh, you're fighting this guy now. Excellent. Keep doing that. Keep doing things, Governor of Vermont. <laughs> Go on a bloody rampage through Canada. <laughs> Uh, we had a loop. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Things are looking very occultish these days. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to hmm. want, uh, Prince of the Maritimes to marry my niece? Okay. <laughs> Go for it! Hmm. Very nice. Very good. Ah. It's right in my court. Cats, what's up? My sister. Hmm. With her husband. A breast cultist. <laughs> well, that's all good. Uh, today my son, Horus, asked me for a few visits of his own to govern. Well, eventually, when I'm done with Akron, you know, I guess I could promise it. Hmm. So a title soon. Hopefully this war is going to be done soon. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get something. Ah. Popcorn! Welcome back! <laughs> I love it how that happens. Uh, keep a look. Go to... Oh, is this a... Uh, gravel kind? Well, in that case, maybe I should give it... Do the whole vice royal thing here. Um, are you... semi competent you got lover's pox and you're taking loans. But you're a spying seducer. No, hell no. Uh, <laughs> you there! You seem intelligent. You're depressed, though. Um, I'm gonna make you the, uh, the, the vice royal of Zakoda. Have fun. <laughs> and now, my title law succession thing will not be a problem. Hooray! <laughs> it's the kingdom of Lakota is doing things. All right, what's what's going on here? Hmm. Oh, you join. Oh, you're just joining in the uh, into their festivities. I understand. I understand. No worries, no worries. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. So we're Ontario over here. Ooh, Hudsonia's having a civil war as well. Or Crown Authority. Is that all? <laughs> Can't you go with something more impressive? I mean, gosh, guys. What was this holy this uh, sort of vault about anyway? Uh, oh, it's a uh, civil war. A claimant has risen up. He wants, wants your stuff, man. I mean, come on, just give it to him. It's all he wants. Really? <laughs> also, uh, me uh, sitting around uh, causes that these guys to keep doing things. Do they still have their hired? They do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Akron. Very good. Very good. Craftsman. Ah, great. More taxes for me. In Brooklyn. As the end success. Support for them up their own business. And that was one of the most profitable enterprises in Brooklyn. Excellent. So, uh, mass wealth. Excellent. I become ambitious. Well, sufficiently ambitious. Hmm. Henrik of Ohio. Well, we are getting up there. <laughs> Apparently, people are turning south. Hmm. Ever since my pursuit of wealth began and you started keeping close line both your income and expenses, your coffers seem to be filled with brim more, more often than not. Well, lately. <laughs> Wasn't always the case. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Henrik. Hmm. Now that Henrik's old enough, people don't like him as much. Because <laughs> he's not a little kid. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Auto save. I know we're coming 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 up on the end of the, end of the episode here. That's that's perfectly fine. We haven't kicked off our great adventure versus the Glemians. Yes. So I think, yeah, I think I'll uh, go ahead and do that, uh, with sort of a th the third big goal of sorts, now that my country's kind of sprawling and such, doing weird stuff. But to unite the, the far-flung reaches of it together into one continuous nation, which means I gotta work my way all the way through these guys, dig through Iowa, work down through the Confederacy a little bit more, as well as, you know, finish off these uh, consumerist uh, people here. And also, I guess, poke a little bit over here, but these guys seem to be doing a pretty good job of that themselves. Yeah. 
Some of it's a little on the silly side, but eh, whatever. In the meantime, we'll uh, probably keep turning away at these uh, his, uh, Anabaptists and such. The Amish shall not stand. Mm. Knows how deep passion the love between one of the courtiers and his wife are. Huh? Sadly, does not result in any children. If I, I have heard the wife asking the other wives about cures and ways to get with child, but to no avail. Hmm. It might be impotent. I have to know. <laughs> uh, so Prince Exodeth. Huh. But it's impotence. Surprise me. No one else knows this. I should tell him. Hmm. I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, what up, dude? <laughs> Come on, guy. Can't you, you know, help your wife make babies? Come on. <laughs> Be fun. <laughs> hmm. Unless he's not interested in ladies, which is, yeah, that's sort of what you gotta do then. Alright, um, X Death. What's up, guy? You're not pissed at me, something is great. No, you seem you seem fine. You are married to Vaisonia Jocosa, the sword of the ancestors. And uh her titles will be going who knows? Jeanette. Jeanette. Hmm. Constance Vane. Constance Vane. Ah, PD excellent, excellent. I'm still waiting on Akron. Yeah, maybe we'll just have to wait for that for next time. But I think I'm gonna go get to this guy going somewhere else. I said somewhere else. Uh, maybe one of these places over here. Yeah, got a whole bunch of territory over here we're not really paying that much attention to. So let's send them there. Hooray! Convert some uh, Catholics. Maybe some consumerists later. Start moving our way through here. Anyway, so our empire is grown. It's now huge and large. And that's pretty sweet, guys. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> We now have territories halfway across the across the continent. Uh, it's like I keep seeing the red here, and it's like, ah, oh, it's not me. <laughs> and uh, we stretch from the Maritimes to the Carolinas and Alabama and such like that, from Boston to Western Michigan. There's some gaps and such over here. Anyway, so thank you all for joining me. This has been Isix. Playing more Crusader Kings 2 after the end. Um, I think. Next phase of the campaign should be pretty straightforward. So actually digging through here, a few holy wars to uh, do the bigger, bigger countries here. Uh, in fact, yeah, if we do one for Yankton and one for Minnesota here, we'll probably be uh, sitting pretty well through there. And just a couple, actually like three of them to get down to Katrina, Citrana, Citriana. And yeah, <laughs> you guys. Seem to be having some issues here. No, some issues, I guess. Got rid of your hired. I used to keep them around. Anyway, <laughs> so shouldn't be too much, too crazy, especially compared to what I've had to do to get this stuff sorted out here. Anywho, anywho. So, thank you all for joining me. I already did all that, didn't I? Anyway, till next time, everybody. Doodles. Woohoo!